OneSearch is the library's primary search tool. Use OneSearch to find any print or online resource in the library's collections, including journal articles, books and ebooks, audio and visual material, research reports, library guides, theses, and much more. You can search OneSearch directly from the search box on our homepage or from any of the widgets on our guides. You can also go there directly using any of the links to OneSearch on our pages. The default searching technique for OneSearch is a simple search. Just type your search terms directly into the search box. Using techniques such as Boolean operators, truncation and phrase searching will get you better results, so make sure you take a look at our other training videos and material that you can find in our guides. You don't have to be a member of the JCU Library in order to use OneSearch. Many of the features are freely available. However, some functions are only available to library members, such as saving your searches or requesting books. If you are a library member, make sure you log in to get the full functionality. After entering your search terms, use the filters on the left-hand side of the screen to drill down to more relevant results. After you have applied your filters, you will be able to see them and turn them off individually if you want. You can also set OneSearch to remember all of your filters for the remainder of this session, or you can reset your filters. You can also reset your filters at any time by starting a new search, clicking on the words New Search at the top of the screen. You can also set your preferred disciplines to personalize your search. For instance, setting science or education. These disciplines are part of your profile and will be on whenever you sign in, but you can turn them off at any time. The list of results will show the brief records for the items. Click on an item to see the full record. In the full record, you'll be able to see more details about it. You'll see links to where you can get it electronically. Sometimes we have it from more than one source, so check the dates to make sure you're getting it from the source that has the most current dates. In the full record, you can also see details such as the subject headings and abstracts or summaries. To get the full text for one of our electronic resources, click on the name of the publisher supplying it. This will take you to the full text on the publisher's website. Items that we have physically in the library will mention which library they're in on the brief record. When you go to the full record, you can see exactly where they are and what their availability is. Books and similar items in our catalogue have a number of features in the full record that are worth looking at. For instance, take a look at the virtual browse shelf down the bottom of the record. You'll be able to see other items that would be on the shelf next to the one you've chosen if you were looking at it in the physical world. You can save individual results to your favourites list by clicking on the pin icon that's on the record. You can save several results to your favorites at the same time by clicking on the record number and then clicking on the pin at the top of the list.
You can go to your favorites by clicking on the pen icon at the top of the screen or by going to your favorites as listed under your name. You can sort your saved results into different groups by using labels. First, select the result to be labeled by clicking on the item number. Then click on Add Labels to either create or apply a label to all of the items that have been selected. You can also save your searches so you can come back to them later. First, go to your search history. You can find your search history on your My Favorites page or from the drop down under your name. Find the search you want to save and use the pin icon to add it to your searches. You can also create an alert for saved searches so that the search will rerun in the background on a regular basis and send you the results. To run a saved search, go to the saved searches in your My Favorites page and click on the search you want to run. There is a citation tool built into OneSearch that can give you suggestions for how to cite the item you're looking at. Please remember that, like all automated citing suggestions, these are not perfect and there are often several mistakes. You will need to check the citation and make appropriate adjustments before using it in your assignment. If you have any questions or need any help, please get in touch with us by using the Connect With Us tile on our homepage.